All right, let's look at some more text here in DaVinci Resolve using some lower thirds, some simple text, then a quick look at our text plus tool. And also how can we, uh, how can we save our work so we can reuse our titles over and over again. So let's go ahead and start on these two clips right here. So we have the same girl right here and we want to call out her name. So let's use one of the lower thirds up here in our effects library titles and we'll use the left. So I'm going to drag this one right in right there to the timeline, pull this up a bit. And as you probably know from the first video on text, we can expand this out, but I just want it to be about uh, five, six seconds or so. We're gonna hold down Alt and drag a copy of this over here because I want the same title on both of these clips. Now I'm going to, in this case, just select both of those as we've already seen in a different video. And we'll go ahead and open up the inspector, make sure we have our multiple titles selected. And we're gonna just type in her name here. Put Anya in there, and down here we'll say uh, fashion model. Okay, let's go ahead and change this to bold. Let me change this here to uh, century gothic. Okay, that looks pretty good. We can change the size or anything like that, but this looks okay. Now we check the other clip, and it's also updated because again we had those multiple titles selected, so we're good. Uh, we're good to go here. Might come over here to video and position down a bit and maybe over a bit there as well okay then close down the inspector now i don't want this to just be on right i want it to like fade in or something so if you watched the previous uh, simple text video you know that we can use our transitions to fade things in right so i could fade that in but i don't want that in this case uh, in this case i'm going to add some keyframes right here and i want the text on screen about right there so open up my inspector just this clip selected head over here to video and go ahead and put my position keyframe on right there bring it back my playhead back and go ahead and pull it off screen and now we have that animation cool now for this one i want it to fade in a different way uh or come on screen a different way so I'll pull my playhead about there, make sure I select that clip and hit over here to video and we'll do position again, or maybe we'll do, actually we'll have it zoom on uh, to screen. So let's go ahead and right here is where I want it to be on screen there. So we'll do our zoom, our position and our opacity all right there. I'll bring my playhead back, then I'll zoom it out, but my anchor point is wrong. So I need to make sure I adjust that. Let me turn on my transform overlay go ahead and let me just move this anchor point over there and let me go ahead and reset the rotation angle and okay now our zoom's working properly right there make sure i pull the zoom down to or just double click in here zero opacity all the way down and that should be good let's see let me turn off the transform overlay all right cool so now we have our two titles done here, as you can see, with our keyframes. They look cool. Now, what if I have uh, more clips of her uh, down uh, the timeline somewhere? So if I want to reuse this title, I can alt click and just drag it over to wherever I need it and drop it. And then we have a perfect copy right there, as you can see. But we can also save our titles in our bins. Okay, so media pool, make sure that's open, come down to the bottom. If I want to reuse this title here, or maybe just reuse the animation, right? Let me just go ahead and grab it. I'm going to throw it right into my media pool. And I can go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it uh, title slide, right? Because it's sliding over to the right. And uh, we'll grab this one here and we'll call this title rise. Okay. So now we have those named set up here in our media pool. I can hover over them, see what they look like. Pretty cool. Now maybe down here, I want to use the same title or the same animation. Of course, I want to change the name. So I'll just grab one of my titles, throw it right 
there. And instantly we have it. Of course, I got to change her name. No problem. Select it Go to the inspector here and just go ahead and change her name. Maria. And this will be your trainer. OK. All done. Same animation. We changed it up for our new clip. And down here, of course, still going to say Anya. Still going to say Anya. All right. Pretty cool, right? So if I set something up that I like, again, save it in your media pool. But what if you want to use it between projects? Well, you can also, if you watch the previous videos, you know, we can save things in power bins. So let me grab both of these titles right here and we'll just drop them in a master power bin or create one called titles, whatever. And you can see both of those are now in our power bin as well, of course, in the uh, bin for our, uh, our session. So now let's head to a different project here. And here we are in our other project. And let's say I want to use that same title that I created. I don't want to have to redo it over and over again. No problem. Head up to our power bins and just grab the one that I want. Let's say this one here, drop it right on top and we have it right there. Select it, come in here to our inspector. Of course, change this name there. There we go. I can even change things up down here if I want to customize it, put a drop shadow on there as well. Okay, so we have reused our animation, our title, but of course we changed the actual text there. But it, uh, you know, it works the same way. And we didn't have to recreate it even in our new, you know, our new session here. So let's head back to our other session. Now, what if you didn't use keyframes like we did here? What if, let me click our diamond there. We'll just turn off those keyframes. So it's just going to be static on screen. What if instead I had used an effect, like just say cross dissolve here and cross dissolve there. Of course, we could just also use our keyboard shortcut to do that. But now we look at it, comes on screen, and let's just say we like that, okay? Fades off. Now when I save this, okay, just grab it, throw it right up here. We'll just leave it to a lower third uh, right there. Now when I go to reuse this and drag it onto my timeline, I don't have my effects, okay? It just saves the title and not the effects that we have on it, which is why I uh, actually put keyframes in our titles, so all of that animation would be saved with our uh, with our title. Now there is sort of a way you could kind of do that, but uh, I wouldn't really suggest it. You could right click and say new compound clip. You could just call this, you know, whatever you want to call it. Then you have your new compound clip right there. Then if I drag this, our compound clip onto, actually let me do it down here. Now if we look at this, kind of a problem there, right? Because on that fade out, we're not actually able to see through it. So if you ended up doing something like that, you could fix it by coming up to your inspector and changing this to screen. So now we'll see through it. it doesn't work on this clip so much because it's so white. Let's put it over something else. Then you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Zoom in here. Now it comes right on. We can actually see through that fade where again, if this was just on normal on this compound clip, you can see that uh, it's black until the uh, until the fades over and then we can actually see through it there. OK, so just a tip there of something you can do. Uh, we could head back to our effects library titles. Let's just grab a simple text tool here. And again, we can go ahead and type something in here. We'll just say we want it to say running real big. Change my text here to sensory gothic. And let's make this bold. I want it really big across the screen. Okay. And maybe a drop shadow on that. Okay. And that looks good uh, for what we want. Okay. So again, I just want that to come on screen real quick. Go ahead and drop that in my bin and always name your clips, you know, running title. Then I can reuse that wherever else uh, 
I want just by dropping it right in there. Okay, so now let's look real quick at our title plus tool and we'll just grab it. There's a lot more you can do with your title plus tool because as you can see, it's a, uh, it's a fusion effect. And if we go over here to fusion, you'll see our title right here that we can then affect over here in fusion, do a bunch of camera movements, uh, put a bunch of effects on it, maybe make it 3d or something like that. We're not going to get into that here because it gets pretty complicated with all of these nodes, but uh, just understand that whenever we use that text plus tool, we can head back here real quick into fusion and really do some like, um, like after effects style stuff with uh, our titles. We can also of course edit that right here in the inspector as well. So let's uh, call this uh, running as well. We'll just leave it to the settings right there. And we have a bunch of different uh, options in here, as you can see. So what we want right here is our layout and we're gonna go circle and we can change some stuff up here. Put this there and put it about like that perhaps. And something like this might be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and animate some of this here as well. So what do you say about right here? I want our spacing to be about there. So I'll go ahead and turn on my keyframe right there. Pull my playhead back. Let's go ahead and expand that out. And then we'll check out our animation. Pretty cool. Let's do some more though. We want the color of uh, the text here. Let me go ahead and turn that on. We want it to be maybe red right there. But back here, we want it to be, let's just say green. Okay, check that out. Boom, changes colors, pretty cool. But after that, I want another keyframe right there and I want it to turn white. Check that out, kind of cool. Let's go over to this panel and let's do the background too. So right here at the beginning, I'm gonna turn this, the background kind of reddish, put a keyframe there and then keep coming here till it comes white about there. And let's actually just turn it basically off uh, right there. Check that out. Pretty cool, right? A lot of stuff you can do with your text plus. I don't wanna go too deep into it because it gets uh, really crazy here. Let's do some animation, what do you say? So what do you say we'll start? So right about here, we want the animation to be right there. So I'll go ahead and click both of those keyframes, head back here to the top of the clip, and we're gonna flip it like this, and then we're gonna flip it like that. Okay, more animation right there, pretty cool. We can do more than that if you uh, wanted to. Maybe we'll come over here and maybe we'll make it right on. That might be kind of cool. I don't know. Let's just try it. So right about, I don't know, there. So we want it fully on. We'll pull back here and we'll just pull this back and then play that back. So now it kind of writes on, it spins around, it changes colors, a bunch of stuff you can do. Cool. So after we do all that stuff to our, you know, to our text plus uh, clip there or our, our title, and you want to reuse that or you want to reuse the animation or whatever, be sure to save that in your bin and go ahead and give it a descriptive name. So you can, of course, reuse that uh, down your timeline or put it in your master power bin or your own titles power bin. So you can reuse that in any project that you want. And lastly, we'll just say we go back to our standard, uh, we'll go to a uh, lower thirds here, I guess. Throw this in here and we'll do some more keyframing, but in a little bit of a different, uh, different way. So let me put her name in here again. Okay, all right. And change this up here. Bring the size up a bit here. Bring the size up a bit here. Okay, make that italic. And let's type in 130 right there. Okay, head here to video and I'm gonna transform it down a bit, position it over a bit. 
and we're going to start it right about there. So if I wanted to keyframe this, we already know how to do it over here in our inspector, right? So let's do this here. Right about here is where we want it on screen. And we'll just do, let's just say position. So we'll just grab our position uh, keyframe right there. I'll expose our keyframes right on the track here. I'll pull this back. Let me open up the spline editor or the curve editor here. And in here, we can choose a bunch of different uh, things that we want to view. So we can look at our position X, which is the position X is what we want, I do believe. So we want to pull this off screen. Control Z that. So instead of doing that in the inspector, I could actually do it uh, in our curve editor here as well. So I could hold down Alt and click, and that gives me a new keyframe right there. Okay, I'm in position X there, as you can see in my drop down. I just uh, select that right there. Then I can just manually drag this down, right, like that. Now we have that animation, like that. I can also change the you know type of the curve that we have if we want to change that animation, right, the way it comes in there. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's a little bit more of an advanced look there at uh, keyframes and using our curve editor there to actually put keyframes in right here on our uh, timeline. Again, just hold on alt and click and you can get a new keyframe in whatever kind of parameter that you want. I could even say, go to the zoom, right? And I could start, uh, I could put a keyframe here, put a keyframe there, and then adjust that zoom level directly in here instead of uh, doing that over here in the inspector. Uh, but as you can see, Play that back. You see that position there. Animate. Okay. And of course, as always, however you uh, you know program your clips there, make sure you save them if you want to reuse them right in your bins, and then you can always give that a name. Okay. And of course, reuse that wherever I want on uh, on my timeline or save it in my power bin and reuse it in any uh, session that uh, that I want.